Good morning you guys, welcome back to another video. Right now we are on a storm watch which we didn't think that we would have to do because this was not a thing when we booked our vacation and even, was it a thing when we got here or no? no. Like, I developed like a couple days after we were here. So I, I remember like the weather getting worse where we thought we had a clear week, but then like every time we looked at the weather, it seemed to get more and more rainy. Like the day before we left, we noticed that it was like gonna rain a lot during the week, which it wasn't the case before that. And now we have a full on hurricane heading not our way, but close to us, which would cause a lot of rain and a lot of wind here. We are strategically planning our days. We have one more full day tomorrow and then we leave on Monday. So we are about to go take some family pictures right now just in case tomorrow we won't be able to because of the rain. It's supposed to hit tomorrow night in New Orleans, but the surrounding areas and where we are in the panhandle will be affected too by like wind and rain and weather. Um, I think that we wouldn't really be too concerned about it if like our flights and stuff aren't the way that they are. Normally I pick flights that have no layovers that are just like straight through, but for some reason with this trip, there were no good flights without a layover. And the one time we have a layover is the one time that we will be flying straight over this storm. We are, we're going from Pensacola to Houston, which is flying directly over the storm. And if we were flying directly back to Colorado, I feel like this wouldn't even be an issue. We probably wouldn't even be worrying about it at this point. More right, like they would just have a path to, you know, maneuver around it. But since we're going directly over it into Texas, it is a little bit of a concern when it comes to our flight being delayed or even canceled. I've already gotten notifications from our flights that that could be a possibility and we should just keep looking at our notifications and making sure that we have a plan if that does happen. Do you think it could move or not? I have to do a lot at this point, but, but everything that's east of it is the bad side of the storm. And we're east what of you it. Say, we are east of it. Mm -hmm. We're on that outer of the window when we get wind and rain. The problem is, is us packing, yeah. airport driving through. Oh yeah, so we have like an hour flight from Dustin to Pensacola and my mom was Oh, sorry drive is what I meant, but my mom was talking about how Since we are at sea level there are a lot of times where we have to go over Like bridges and what did you else? What else did you say? Like there's some bridges that we have to cross like over open water to get to the airport and since a storm is hitting the night before we leave, there is a chance that the water levels will rise and we just don't know what we could run into. And especially with hurricanes, there's a lot of things that can happen. It could shift directions, it could speed up, it could slow down. There's just a lot of things that we aren't 100% sure of right now. Yesterday we were thinking about changing our flights possibly to tomorrow instead, but as of right now, the storm seems pretty consistent with how it was or how it has been. The only concern that we have is flying over the storm at this point and packing the car in a storm, basically. So my mom's mapping out like where we have to go. Here's where we are and there are two routes to the airport. We're definitely not gonna take that one. <laughs> because that's right on the coastline. Right on the coast, but we do have to cross through. You see here we've got Pensacola Bay. Mm -hmm. 
um, you know, it depends how much water swell we have in that area yeah to get to the airport so we just we just got to keep an eye on if it shifts at all that means more storm surge in this area mm -hmm. we're definitely on the uh eastern way eastern side of it where we're gonna get a lot of rain and all of that yeah and i was asking about like what like what is the worst thing that could happen if our flights do get canceled and you said it would be just like maybe a day or even like 12 hours or so our flights would be delayed yeah i think so i mean uh, unless the storm sits and it just rains slows and down rains and rains mm -hmm. which i've heard might happen but i would yeah. think a, a day at the most yeah, yeah so then we'd yeah. have to figure that out if that happens which i think we'll probably know hopefully by tomorrow i don't know but then we'd have to figure out like a place to stay would we probably stay in pensacola then if our flight was canceled and then just yeah honestly unless a lot of people from the coast you know they go out on the outskirts close to home um a lot of people at the hotels and stuff so there could be a lot of hotels that are already booked so we'll see yeah yeah there's a lot of things that are really up in the air but one thing that we haven't talked about is Pretty much the entire time that we've been here, there's always flags out by the beach of like the water intensity of the waves. The first afternoon that we were here, it was yellow, which means it's moderate, moderate surf conditions. So there's like waves and it wasn't too bad, but ever since then it has been a red flag. It's high surf, riptide, current. So. Yeah. And Honestly, we haven't been too far out. Ben's probably gotten the farthest out in the ocean and we haven't been too far out there. I tried to go out there this morning we went and I think it was the most intense this morning. I think as the storm's getting closer, it's getting more intense and I, it was like a workout trying to stand in the water this morning. Well, it was just you, knocking you over. You were like knee deep. Yeah, it was knocking you over. Just the waves were so intense. So I think by probably tomorrow, there'll be like no swimming in the water or anything, which thankfully um, we planned our trip during this time and not next week or something like that because we would have probably completely had to cancel our trip due to weather. But yeah, we're just watching the news right now and making sure we're like up to date with everything that's going on and keeping up with my notifications for our flight just to make sure that we don't miss out on anything. Evie, did you just wake up? Hey. Do you just take like a four hour nap? <laughs> she really just took like a four hour nap. And so did Ella. Is she knocked out? Oh, these girls have been playing so hard. Huh? Oh, poor baby. You wanna wake her up? These kids have been playing so hard at the beach. Every day, every waking moment, I feel like we're, we have an activity or we're going to the pool or we're going to the beach or something. So they've been taking really long naps. But we need to wake them up because we're trying to go take some family pictures before the weather or wind gets bad. I can see it outside right now, Mom. I don't know if you can see, but all of these palm trees are really starting to blow around. So we're gonna get these girls ready, go snap some family pictures, and then probably go out to dinner. What should we eat for dinner tonight? Mom, you pick. I feel like we picked seafood the first night, then we picked Mexican the second night, and then we did seafood again. I'd be down for seafood again. Okay, I'm down for seafood again. You are? Because they have burgers there, so Ben will be fine. <laughs> wherever. All right, where should, you, you should pick where we go. Those crab claws were so good. I'm going to have like a salad and crab claws. That's what you want to have for dinner? Yes. At where? So you want to go again? <laughs> I mean, I'd go again. So it's either that or steak. But we can get steak at home. Okay, then we're going to surf hut again. Would you go there again? I would go there again. Would you go? I bet the people again? there would be yeah. like, "What are you doing here?" Oh, I don't care. <laughs> Move aside. We don't get seafood very often. They have <laughs> massive crab claws. I know. So good. so good, huh? What are you doing? Yeah, I'm in my boat. <laughs> <laughs> the girls are ready. I didn't really plan out outfits, so we just kind of picked out from what we have. You look so pretty. Are you gonna smile so big for family pictures? Yeah? Oh, I am wearing this romper. I wore it last night on mine and Ben's um, little date out to dinner. 
Wait, you need to be patient. Are you ready to go to bed? Well, you're not gonna get another one. You can only have one. So we went outside to go take pictures and it was way too sunny outside. So we ran over to the t-shirt shop and grabbed a few t-shirts because normally I feel like we get t-shirts within the first couple of days, but we are leaving in two days. So tomorrow's our last day here. And tonight we got t-shirts for the first time. Ben's actually running to the car to go grab them right now. And then we went to dinner because it was still way too hot and sunny. So we went to dinner and then it was literally the perfect temperature, perfect everything. It was just slightly windy, but the lighting was so perfect and we got amazing pictures taken of the family and of the girls. Like it was, it was so good. We we're gonna go get ice cream, but Avery has just, she, I don't think she fully woke up from her nap and she's just, as you can hear there. It's been like this ever since they woke up from their nap, so. Should we show the t-shirts that we got? Yeah. We got a big old bag of stuff. This one for Katie. We got this one for A.B. This is the only one they had that wasn't like super cringy. All the baby ones said like fantastic on it and like weird stuff, so that was the only one. And then we got this one for Ella, which is super cute. I got another one that's pink. And, oh, mom, yes, both of the shirts are in here. Mom and I got matching crew necks, so buy one, get one free, so. <laughs> here is the little crew neck. It's super cute. And then Ben got two shirts. He got this shirt. And this one I really like on you too. It looks so good. It's just like this blue long sleeve. So that's what we got. guys um, it is actually the next day as we mentioned in yesterday's video we have a category 4 hurricane coming not directly at us but definitely we are in the path that it is coming uh, we woke up this morning we started watching the news yeah the hurricane is about like 95 miles outside of New Orleans from hitting landfall um, it is expected to hit landfall later on tonight. I think like maybe like 1 a.m. So maybe like Monday morning. We're leaving Destin Monday at 10 and then our flight leaves at 2, I believe. But we have been watching the storm closely obviously because we are going from Destin to Houston, which is directly over New Orleans and every place that's getting hit by the hurricane. So we're watching it closely to see if our flight's gonna get delayed or canceled or anything like that. Um, we were talking to David about it and he said that the pilot might just be able to go over it But what we're hoping is that we're hoping that since the hurricane is hitting so early That it will continue on and not like stall on land because I know there's some cases where hurricanes like stall on land and Like take a little bit longer, but majority of the time they kind of just continue going and then it kind of just subsides Once it gets further inland because it doesn't have the energy that it needs to continue so we're hoping that by the time our plane leaves, um, New Orleans will be kind of settled down and we'll be, able to, we'll be able to fly right over it no problem. But I brought one hoodie because I thought that maybe one morning like when I wake up early in the morning and go down to the beach it would be cold and that is today. Like I said, it's very windy and I can see the beach is completely closed, you're not allowed in, the, well, the water is completely closed, you're not allowed in the water. But I want to explain it to you guys before I get down there because I don't think I'll be able to talk because of how windy it is. But that's a little bit of backstory. I'm going down because I was like, heck, when am I ever gonna see a hurricane? I have never experienced a hurricane before in my entire life. I know that Katie and Natalie experienced a whole bunch when they lived in Alabama, but me personally, I've never been anywhere near a hurricane. So this will be the closest I'll probably get to one. <gasps> what? Oh my God, there's no beach. That's 
driftwood. What? Holy crap. Look at this. This is crazy. There is literally no beach. There's no beach. The beach is gone. It's all just the ocean now. It's all just like part of the tide. I guess the tide, I don't know if you guys can hear me, but the tide is so high that there's no beach. How are you doing? You have no clue what's happening, huh? There, hey, Ella, there's a big storm coming right, not right for us. There's a big storm coming. The beach is all gone. Yeah, the water's so high up that there's no more beach. Yeah, it's okay. It'll go back. You little grumpy gills. What, baby? Doo -doo. I know. You're watching Doo Doo. Are you okay? Avi. Avi. Look at me. Did you know there's a big storm coming? Oh, she doesn't understand it. She's, she's spacing out. Nanny made us a big breakfast. <gasps> what do you have? Oh, what does that say? Sausage. And eggs. And then, Ella, what do you have? Bacon and... Whoa! Bacon and... What is... Okay, I'm gonna go see, like, what the beach looks like. I just had to pull my hair back. You probably can't hear anything that I'm saying. I just had to pull my hair back so my hair wasn't flying. Oh my gosh, Ben, look at the waves. That's actually kind of scary. Wow. In the world? Oh my god. Isn't that weird? This is so weird. The waves are like so intense over there. And the water's like all dirty. Yep. And you can, look, you can tell like from like, it came, it's coming all the way up here. You can tell. Wow. There's people going to the pool right there. They have, or they're going down to the beach. Do you see that? They have swimsuits and everything on. We are at the Dustin Commons where we always come to like shop. And my mom was like, how about you guys go and Look, shop? And like... <gasps> yeah. She was like, why don't you guys go and shop? Because they have a Birkenstock shore. Shore. A Birkenstock's. Birken, what am I trying to say? Birkenstock <laughs> store here and they have baby Birkenstocks and last time we were here Ben did not allow me to get them and I really wanted to get them so badly because they match the ones that I have for like Ella and Ave. So I wanted to go they also have like a little croc store and we wanted to get some crocs for everybody But we are driving through right now and everything Well, first of all, we noticed that there was like nobody here. I bet you the food stores are open, but nothing. Yeah. All this extra stuff is food not. Food looks open. Back there where all the stores were, it's like a ghost town. There's nobody there. We were like, why is it not busy right now? Like, it's Sunday. But also, it is kind of miserable outside. Like, it's it is. windy. It's like rainy and windy. You should go back through, and we should just go see. It's like, usually, the, all of these parking spots are filled. filled. And, yeah, you could park literally oh right my. next to these stores. Yeah, these are... Closed. Everything's closed. Everything's dark. Hey. Hey, um, everything's closed. No way. Everything's dark and closed. There's nothing open. Except for restaurants. Where's that grocery store? I don't know. That's what Ben was just saying. I, know. I was like, like, I was like we, we should, should figure out dinner before um, they start shutting down. The grocery store. I definitely store. would. Get, grab something for dinner, then we're, we're good. Um, I was thinking, too, maybe... Another, that milk smells like it's starting to go bad. Maybe we can grab like a half gallon. Like a half gallon, yeah. Then you can go like this, because we need. I mean, if everything's closed down right now, I feel like by yeah. tonight, like restaurants are going to be closing down and oh, yeah. oh, grocery stores and stuff. So well, because it's supposed just, to make landfall tonight. So should we buy anything extra just in case? I feel like we should get stuff for the flight already right now. Yeah, I agree. Like I would get everything snacks. you need to get home. Like between meals today and snacks or whatever you need for tomorrow, go ahead and get it. Um, and what about anything extra just in case we are stuck here? Um, or no? I mean, it, would, it wouldn't hurt to get a 
small thing of, of either a water. Okay, we decided that we're going to head to the store and go grab some, some like dinner for tonight, some snacks for today, and just a few other things for the flight that we're gonna need because we fly out tomorrow. We don't leave until tomorrow afternoon, which we'll probably leave earlier, but our flight doesn't leave until like two o'clock in the afternoon. We just need to grab some stuff between now and then because if everything's shutting down, like we just aren't sure what it's gonna look like even in a few hours or tonight or tomorrow morning when we might need all of this stuff. So we're gonna run there really quick, grab a few things and then we'll head back and just hang out, I guess, today, right? Like, yeah, I mean, there's a, nothing else to do. I think we're just gonna hang out and play in the house, in the condo, I don't know. Okay, here's our little load of things. I think for dinner tonight, we're just gonna have some frozen pizza. I got these because I think these are one of my biggest cravings right yeah. now is pizza rolls. Milk. Some, yeah, milk, some snacks. Avery is teething, so Tylenol. This is for the plane. Extra water. And then some like candy for the plane. And now we need to get mom a Coke because she wants a oh, cold yeah. Coke is what she said. Coke, one cold Coke. Coke. Maybe we should get her two. Okay, we grabbed everything that we needed. Surprisingly, there weren't like an abundance of people in there like as many as you might think that there would be especially with how people are acting right now so i was surprised that there weren't as many people as i thought that there were going to be but i'm glad there was like still stuff for us to get the only thing i'm worried about is if we do get stuck here and then everything's closed and we don't have anything to go and get and when i mean stuck here i mean stuck in pensacola not here in destin but in pensacola where like our flight is leaving so what were you running after Truck. You were what? Let's go look at that truck. Oh. It's Natalie's turn to come see it. Wow. All right, here we go. I'm gonna see the beach for the first time. The oh. storm is coming in. Woo! I don't get blown away. Wow, that is crazy. And there are people out there what? playing. Well, we are having a party over here. Hurricane party, right? That's right. Uh huh. Doggy, doggy, doggy. Avery's looking at all of her doggy options. <gasps> oh, Ella knows which one she wants. That one. <laughs> okay, and she has it in her book. Look, it's her favorite one. Yeah, Ella's picked out this one dog. Find out where it went. We're making silly faces. There it is. That's her favorite. Avery likes the, or Ella likes the chihuahuas. Here, we'll give Ella a little chihuahua. You like that one, Ella? Put on your shirt. You want? So the girls took a nap while they were taking a nap. We played how many rounds of Uno? Like 12? Like 12 rounds of Uno. Um. Ben is now out going to grab us some smoothies because Avery's not feeling very well. She yeah. is teething so badly, so she has a little bit of a runny nose and she's gnawing on everything that she can see and find. So we went and got her like a little right chewy thing and some Tylenol, what? but she's still, she's not eating either. So we're going to get her a smoothie. Apparently the hurricane has already hit land, which is good. And that means that it's like 12 hours ahead of schedule, which it was, it was predicted to hit land tonight or tomorrow morning, which was kind of a problem because we were flying out tomorrow. But since it is ahead of schedule, that is a really good sign because now our flight probably will not be canceled or delayed, hopefully. That's what we're hoping for, so. That's some really good news. We're still watching it. It's still pretty like windy and rainy here on and off. For a second there it got really dark and started like pouring rain and it was super windy. But other than that, we've been pretty good. Ben went out to go check the ocean again because he's like obsessed with going out there and like checking it. We, there's like a dock that you have to go down two flights of stairs to get to it. So he's up pretty high and it is at no risk to him to go look. So he just likes to go out there and look. You set my world on fire You're my heart's desire I just 
Christmas.